All right, so continuing off of our last video about velocity, what we have here is a bicyclist going 22 miles per hour, and they ride a distance of 44 miles. And what we're looking for is how long it takes them. So we're looking for time. In this case, we take our knowns, which are velocity, equaling 22 miles per hour. And with, when you take MPH, you can change that to miles over hours. Miles per hour. The dividing line means per. And we know the distance equals 44 miles. In the last video we used velocity equals distance over time. But in this case we need to rearrange the formula since we want time to be, well, since time is what we're looking for. So we take, multiply each side by time, which cancels here. So T, V equals D. But we want T to be alone, so we divide by velocity, which cancels out on the left. So t equals distance divided by velocity. So we come over here, take our relationship, which leads to t equals 22 miles over hour divided by, oh wait, sorry, distance divided by velocity. 40 four miles divided by 22 miles per hour. Since this is in the denominator, as underneath it, this moves up and this cancels out. So you have 44 hour divided by 22. And then you simplify that to equal two hours. And that's how long it takes a bicyclist to go 44 miles if they're biking 22 miles per hour.